All right, are you ready to try and go? Yeah. Do you need anything before we start? Uh, I need a diaper. No. Well, I want to see that shit coming out your pants. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Where's his body? So you know, how will you be able to see my shit? Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome we back. We started right on when you said, <laughs> how will you be able to see my shit? And then now, as I'm editing, I'm going to be like, God damn it, how am I going to edit the welcome back? It's I'm sure you've so had hard. to do that. And then now I'm going to be listening to myself, talking to myself. So oh. hi, Aisha. <laughs> Eternal darkness. Sorry, Georgie. <laughs> Sanity's, sanity is Requiem. Sanity is Requiem. <laughs> We're playing this game because we heard it was good. And it, so far, Ooh. looks top quality. Does not That's look chiropractor like... chiropractor issues right there. They have it up on the wall at the chiropractor's <laughs> office. Is this happening to you? Do you have... Okay, well, we're just going, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. Flesh. Bone. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I guess it's it might just be a different kind of scary than I thought. Like a little bit more um Lovecraft mm -hmm. as opposed to more modern kind of like amnesia type scary. Oh, he's also dead. I see, okay. Ravis. It is the story of humanity. Okay, this is like a, an ancient tale like type thing, I guess. It not, it's not as much a... Will not like, I don't think it's... It's gonna, probably gonna be sort of a little bit more like a Resident Gravity Evil... On the edge of where... Or maybe like a Resident Evil 4, where it's like an adventure game plus some scary stuff. Mm. Yeah, because I've, I've never heard about it outside of what really? you said. Yeah, I, it, I, mean, I can't even imagine what it looks like. People... Halava this a game. Halava. Halava this a game. I don't even know what accent that is. Where's my pen? Wait, what did you say? I don't know. Is grand. that me? Yes, it's you play as this girl. Huh. Yeah, isn't that cool? Nice. 2003, you get to play as a girl. That's really, that's really edgy. That's, Very that's progressive future. and edgy. Feminism! <laughs> well, there's a skeleton behind her. Wait. What? Oh, you got a shotgun. Man, I... Wait, I don't know how to do this. Have fun. Shoot them. I don't know what's going on. This is so... Oh, nice. Look Jesus at you go. Christ. Look at you go. I don't like how she takes forever! You wait for him to get, like, right up on you. You want to make sure you fight, shoot them, like, point blank. <laughs> you got to make sure they're dead. Yep, you're out of bullets. She walks very slow. That's going to be the whole game. May the rats eat your eyes, Aisha. She's kind of cute. Grandpa? Is that a phone ringing? Grandpa's kind of cute. Grandpa's oh, phone is ringing. Oh, Christ. All right, well. This is a... I don't know if three, you three, can three, tell. Three, 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 death time. Ghost time. <laughs> Ghosts. Go on. It's, uh... You may be fooled into thinking just based on how it looks. Oh, this game is for—is this a new PS4 game, oh. PS3 game? <laughs> Turns out this is a game from 2003. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> I mean, given just how emotive this person is, and how uh, insanely HD. Very HD. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look as bad as Kingdom Hearts. But mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> look at these graphics here. The Royvis family estate, Rhode Island. Oh, I thought I could move. This it looks like the those Harry Potter GameCube games. Yeah, it does. Oh boy. Ah, oh, Miss Roybus. He kind of looks I'm like um. Trust you had a pleasant trip. Nick, uh, yeah. Nick, yeah, Nick Frost. So Who's you know, that? The guy yeah, in the like uh. This, this is most unpleasant. Those funny, that funny, funny British man. No, he doesn't. I don't know I'm who lying. That is. I don't I'm know. just is kidding. It, you mean Ricky Gervais? No, you know the the British guy in Star Trek. Nick Frost. Well, it's not him, but it's his buddy. He was in Hot Fuzz. Oh, Simon Pegg? Yeah, Simon he, Pegg and Nick Frost. You're right, he looks exactly like Simon Pegg. <laughs> At first I thought he looked like him. Someone died. Oh, that must be Grant Hurd. It's just a cow. Just close the window. There's a lot of police going on outside. <laughs> well, they're obviously they're coming... Did you hear that? What? Sound like someone outside went... <laughs> and like a big explosion. 
He's wearing our family ring. That's how you can tell it's him. I thought it was a cow. Well, you... that's where the police were coming. They were going to I understand. get the murder. Why are you showing me this? Well, I mean, you, you smile a little bit. Wasn't she sorry. sleeping? She was like, sleeping oh, at her house. Her grandpa died or somebody died. No, we can't check dental records. He doesn't have any teeth? There's no head. Oh, oh fuck. Sense. How are you going to bring someone in and say, hey, can you identify this person? <laughs> they don't have a head. I have never seen anything like this in my life. I guess, thank goodness he was wearing the family ring, but... Maybe she just recognizes, like, she's familiar with his nude body. What? What? The no, mouth That's movements. his stomach. Look at how high tech that mouth They actually, I think for 2003... It's better than King Not that bad, yeah. They're a little awkward. Yeah. They're a little too good. Compared to the rest of their yeah. slow-moving bodies. Yeah, that's what's freaky about it. Mm -hmm. I'm already spooked. <laughs> that's the scariest thing about this game. So weeks later. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death Ooh. and frustrated at the incompetence <laughs> of the local police, classic local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past, possibly a tie to his murder, and possibly the tie he wore to his wedding, it would be here. Oh, right. she moves very slow. You don't gotta move fast. It's, this isn't a scary game. This is just a walking game. It's like fragile. Oh, that's weird. B is examined. That's different. Yeah. Look at this nice clock. Beautiful carriage clock. Clock ticks even though the hands are stuck. Time permanently set to 3.33. Mm, key in the back of the clock. Should Alex look at the key? You know it. Oh, it's the dresser key. Good job. Now you can open his dresser and check his loins. <laughs> God, I want to see what kind of underwear my grandpa I wears. Uh, touch his loins. My grandpa. Let's picture that guy from Frozen, Kristoff. Their faces reveal a dark brooding. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Just Hello. A of, just a little bit of warblies. Hello. <laughs> Turn the volume up here. I should raise the brightness on the TV maybe a little bit. Oh, I, I guess I could have. Can I examine? No, no, no. It's all good. I can do it on the TV. Oh. If I... Man, look at that no, no, window, no, though. No, this is examining. This is examining. <laughs> Dude, look at that window, though. That's kind of kind of neat. The last I don't know which button. There we go. Whoa, Sorry. that's bright. You guys can't see this. Sunlight like, fight the shroud of darkness. How do I do this? Yeah, lens and ear reveal the last like... few weeks of. Uh... Fuck. No, Alex will be says. alone in this house with do we want nothing it? but Do we spirits. want it like this? Is this easier to see? I don't. I think it is. I think. Okay, it's gonna look the same to the people. Uh, it's only us that can tell the difference. So we'll have it like this just for a minute. Oof. And I'll turn this. Sorry, Jesus Christ. That's bright. That's some bright there, shit. There, now we can see a little bit. Hey, Grandpa. Oh. It's uh, Captain Barbosa. <laughs> Give me that baldy head. What kind of loins does Captain Should Barbosa wear? He doesn't door? have to pee. Uh, dude, what are we doing? Uh, Reading mm -hmm. a listener question. That's what we're doing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's why. Yeah, it was very clever. Uh, Keenan Blackington, who sounds like a character from Eternal Darkness. Keenan Blackington uh, has a question. What are the weirdest jock... Who the fuck has this in their house? Please. What's wrong? Fuck, I want to sneeze and I can't. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get angry. <laughs> uh, what's the weirdest jobs you've ever had? This fucking job, right? <laughs> Is this a job yet? I wish it was. I wish it was. But it's not. I never had a weird job, really. I wouldn't plaque as fast as the door. I can't use it. I wrote... I don't know if you know that I knew that I... Man, look up. The sun rays. Some kind of soundtrack thing going on. Imagine if someone had this just playing in their <laughs> coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be kind of cool. Like a spooky, like... Ho like a, a Halloween coffee yeah, shop yeah. but like always spooky so oh, like year-round scary coffee shop yeah like you go there at eight in the morning you just sorry, woke up sorry, sorry, sorry. don't need this now it would go out of business really quick i think i would go in business but i don't know if uh speaking of being in business the weirdest jobs i've ever had i don't know if you knew that i did this but i wrote articles for a i think this was kind of during the era that me and you weren't really hanging out at all mm-hmm um, and I wrote for this website called Bright Hub, hmm. and I would do, you know how you see those articles that say, like, 
you know, 10 easy fixes for your max viruses. And it's like shitty articles. You click on them and like they don't really give you answers. And they're obviously just like clickbait kind of for Google to show up in Google results and whatever. Mm -hmm. And you have to write the articles in a way where you have to use like, oh, you have to use this keyword five times, this keyword four times. And you have to blah, blah, blah. I wrote those shitty articles for like a year Hmm. for this website, Bright Hub, for... I can't remember how good the money was. It was good enough because I was doing it, I guess, but... So anytime you see on the bottom of a website, like, 10 secrets to beat aging, I, that was me, basically. Except I only wrote them about tech. It was all about, like, Mac and iPhones and that kind of crap. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. I, the, the writing was probably really bad, and it didn't matter because it was all about how often you used the keywords. Mm-hmm. Much like we were just talking about with YouTube, how you want to have the keywords and the title and the description and the tags and all that a certain amount of times oh i can run sorry there that is a useful skill because you're trying to I got a picture oh. of a tree and a hanging man oh tree hangs from the wall the family secrets are revealed yeah see there's a dude right there mm. yeah um what oh this is a big room he's got a that's a bright light uh what are we doing i don't know i'm trying to figure out my grandpappy's death. Wait, where's his body? So you're just walking around in your granddad's house. Yeah, and... Shunned by other... The early royalists were shunned by the other settlers, suspected of witchcraft. Okay, so you've got a family that has a history of uh, witchcraft and wizardry. It looks like Hogwarts, I Harry! guess. Harry! <laughs> Harry Potter! Oh, she's tired. You ran a little too much. She very, can't, she can't very, run through the fucking... very advanced. Yeah. Right into oh, po- Lovecraft. Craft. There you go. Nice. This is much more um, like 1800s horror mm-hmm. than it is... Because modern horror is a lot more... Um, like big scary. spooks, monsters. Big spooks, monsters. Uh, but horror now is starting to get very a lot quieter it's not uh you know there's like slasher horror was really popular for a while now we're kind of in this a little bit less slimming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously adjust the clock hands 333 you're good at turning that stop you made them mad (laughs) one more right oh (laughs) punch no you're close you're close uh, one more there you go. Oh, it, it just didn't, <laughs> it didn't even have to push nothing. Look at, look at her. Holy. Holy baloney, this clock. What are you walking I, around like? How did I punch? There you oh. go. Yeah, you're. see, you're a badass. I'm fucking bust. Listen to Papa Roach, it looks like, right when you left your house. You came back and now <laughs> you you're... you said Papa Roach, I was thinking like that Papa Smurf song. Like, Papa Smurf, can you lick my ass? <laughs> sure, lick my ass, bitch. Papa Smurf, can you lick my ass? Lick, 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 no. lick my ass. No, I'm just thinking of... What's the Papa... What's that Papa Roach song? Cut my life, life into, into pieces. pieces. She's dressed up like someone... This is my grandpa's room. (laughs) Suffocation. Suffocation. Is how he died. (laughs) They took his head off. Thank God he's wearing his family ring. (laughs) Very deliberate. Matching etchings on the table. (laughs) Very deliberate. Candles are unlit. Wait, Aisha, we're only doing 10 minute episodes now, aren't we? Oh, shit. I bet we are. Watch this be like 20 minutes in. Always. That's what happens. Oh, we're like 13 minutes in. Ah, oh, God it. damn it. Look at this head. Hey, it's my grandpa's head. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we can we can identify him. Sir, sir, I found the missing piece of my grandpa. Okay, don't click on anything my that's shining. Had... In, don't click on that thing shining in the middle of the table. We're going to check it out next time on 2 people playing games. You clicked it. No, I didn't. Look at my hand. Okay? <laughs> look at my hand. All right, we'll be back to look at this book. Next time.